Hi everyone! Mm? Um, so I wanted to do a video that a lot of people have been waiting for. Oh, don't start now. <laughs> um, so obviously my last like proper YouTube video was a vlog of me going to Poland and having my first ever infusion. Mm. Um, and I've been getting a lot of people asking how I've been doing since then. Um, before I start, I just want to say, I know I say this in every video, but it is really important if people want to know what's going on. Um, please follow my Instagram because I do post very regular updates on there. Um, whereas people who are just subscribed to my YouTube don't often get involved <laughs> in how I'm doing. Um, uh, um, um. Um, whereas on Instagram, I do post very regular updates on there and I talk about everything very openly. Um, kisses! But this video, I want to go quite in depth into what's been going on, how life has been since the infusion, mm. um, next steps and all that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be very, very open. Um, so, mm -hmm. so I had um, an infusion called SOT over seven weeks ago now. A lot of people are wondering what SOT actually is, and I can't remember if I've actually explained it, but SOT stands for Supportive Oleg... Oh, oh dear. Um, I'm gonna have to read it off here because I can't like say it properly. Supportive Oligonucleotide Therapy, SOT. I don't know if I've said that right, it's quite a difficult word. SOT is an infusion that has been used to treat lots of different viruses and different forms of bacteria and is even used as a cancer treatment. It's still not a very uh, common or mainstream uh, treatment, like you don't hear the NHS talk about it. Um, 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 um. Mine obviously had to be private. Hello. Um, if you haven't seen the vlog of me having it, I will link it up in one of these corners. I'm not sure which one it will be in, but it should be there right now. So you can go and watch that to come up to speed and then come right back here. Um, but I had SOT for something called Bartonella um, and I had it for, there's different strains of Bartonella and the one that I had was for a strain of Bartonella called Bartonella Vinsoni. Um, mm, 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 mm. Um, so that's the type that, I, that's the SOT that I had, that's what it was targeting. Ooh. So as for what life was like for me post SOT, I felt the uh, effects of it pretty much immediately. I said in my vlog that I became extremely tired while I was having the infusion um, and literally the second we got back to the apartment I went to bed and I slept for a couple hours and even when I woke up I was still pretty tired. Um, so I had something called a Herx reaction and a Herxheimer reaction is basically where someone has had treatment and the symptoms get much worse for a while before they get better. I'll put a little information photo about what a Herxheimer is on the screen, but um, it is a genuine thing that a lot of people experience on many different treatments for many different conditions. So I did experience a Herx reaction. Um, my main Herx uh, lasted about a week and a half. Yep, 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 yep. Um, everyone is different though. Some people Herx for months and some people only Herx for a couple days, 24 hours. Mine was, as I said, about a week and a half. Um, I felt quite lucky really that it wasn't longer, um, but I really, I had a very, very horrible week and a half. Um, 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 um. Um, so I would say it was maybe like five days to a week after having the infusion. I then had a trip to London because I was invited to see Cirque du Soleil, which I go to every January now. I'm very fortunate to be invited every January. Um, and there really was not much that was going to make me miss it. So it was definitely quite a push. Um, and I think I did push myself a little bit too hard because doing a trip to London when I'm well is still overwhelming, but doing it when I'm herxing is something else. I got this little diary just before I had the infusion because I wanted to document everything. So it's got like, um, in the beginning, I wrote about all the fears that I was having, um, but then the also possible positive outcomes. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of pages in here leading up to the infusion. I did this page of bullet points of all these symptoms that I was experiencing post-infusion, and I've got a pretty decent list because it was quite a uh, significant hurt for me. So one thing that was really, really extreme was heart palpitations. I had those 
roughly 60 times a day it was really really quite severe um anxiety was really high sudden feeling of panic um i had bruising all along the backs of my legs um i do now know what that was caused by i'll explain that later shin pain which is a really really textbook classic bartonella symptom um, and basically when you've had an infusion to target something it will flare up the symptoms of the thing that it is targeting because it is starting to kill it off so technically it's a good sign but obviously it's not it's not very pleasant when you're experiencing it so my bartonella shin pain came back really bad uh, extreme fatigue i mentioned that earlier head pain dizziness lightheaded nausea i was very itchy um, i had noises in my ears um, and it wasn't like tinnitus it was um it was as if i was underwater and i would suddenly hear like this muffled noise and that was uh, multiple times a day i was very very emotional so that trip to london that i talked about i cried about three times in really really inconvenient places uh once was literally on the streets of london another time was a restaurant another time was the natural history museum i had sore hands i was irritable i felt scared I sometimes didn't want people to touch me, that was linked to being irritable, I think. I was sometimes really numb. Um, I've put, am I breathing enough, question mark, that links into another thing that I'll discuss in a minute. Um, I had calm moments, I had angry moments, and the bottom of my feet was sometimes sore. That wasn't a really big thing for me, but um, that is also a really big Bartonella symptom, so that flared up. But yeah, that's what I, that's what I wrote down. Um, Oh, painful zaps. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I had zapping in my spine and I now know what else that is as well. So yeah, all of those symptoms lasted about a week and a half and it really was not very nice. I was just crying all the time. Um, I was in quite a lot of pain. I was so, so tired. Um, I, I have fatigue like daily, but this was a, a whole new level. Um, I was on that same trip into London, I definitely pushed myself too hard, but I'm really glad that we saw the show still. Um, oh yeah, there's another place I cried, Royal Albert Hall. But yeah, while we were in London, I was just falling asleep in my wheelchair. And I, I never, I never do that. But I was literally, we were waiting for our train in the train station. I fell asleep in my wheelchair and I was just flat out. Like I was just conked, like I was so, so tired. And I've never quite experienced a fatigue like this. But that was all because of the infusion. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what things were like right after the infusion. It did eventually settle down. As you can see, I'm looking fairly fairly bright right now. I'm looking okay. Um, <laughs> have I seen any improvements? Um, so it's been just a few days over seven weeks now since the infusion. Ooh. Um, and it's hard to know whether there's been improvements. I think definitely it was killing something off, otherwise I wouldn't have had that big herx at the beginning and the Bartonella symptoms flaring up. That wouldn't have happened if the Bartonella wasn't being targeted. So it was actually a really, really good sign. Woo! Um, but because I have so many symptoms, it's difficult to know if there's been any, woo, any improvement. And I'm still on my treatment at home, so that could be contributing as well. We have to do like a detoxing uh, routine since the infusion, so like um, salt baths and that kind of thing to help detox. <laughs> but this kind of brings me on to the next thing that I was going to talk about, which is um, other infections. Um, basically, um, as you'll have seen in my Poland blog, just before I had the infusion, they took 16 tubes of blood, I mentioned it in the video, um, because they have to um, do more tests and look for more things. And um, they they found even more than they found last year and more than I was expecting. Um, I have got it in my notes here. I've got like the results and the levels of things. Um, some of them are really, really quite significant. And as you can imagine, it's been really, really overwhelming to see the different levels of things, things that are high and things that are really, really low. It's been it's been overwhelming and really, really difficult to come to terms with. And to be honest, I try not to think about it that much. Um, I do allow myself to still process it because otherwise it would not be healthy. But I do try not to think about it too much. 
But as I said, like last year, as you guys know, one of the infections that they found was Bartonella, which is what I had the infusion for earlier this year. Hey, 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 hey. Um, and there was also evidence of another infection, which is very, very closely linked to Bartonella. They're kind of like siblings, which is called Babesha. Hello, um, which is a Lyme disease co-infection. Meow. Um, I will put some info photos on the screen of what Bartonella and Babesha are. Um, because I do struggle to explain them and I'm still very much learning about them so I will pop them here right now if you would like to pause and read. I'll also leave some links in the description um, if you would like to check up on what they are because it is very technical and I struggle to explain it well so instead of me trying to explain it and completely butchering it I will just leave links in the description if you want some info on it. Um, so yeah, last year they found Bartonella and Babesha, and I kind of thought that that was the extent of it. Um, they found a couple others like um, Anaplasma and Mycoplasma pneumonia, um, but then this time they just seemed to find loads. So um, this year I tested positive for the bacteria of Lyme disease, which is called Borrelia, and that was 400 over what it should be. So like... Um, Anything one, over 1,000 is positive, and mine was 1,439. So it's now confirmed that I don't just have the Lyme disease co-infections, I'm also positive for Lyme disease. So um, I've got, I've started treatment for that as well. Babesha was on there as well. I've also tested positive for another strain of Bartonella called Bartonella... <sighs> so many big words. Called Bartonella henselae. I've tested positive for that, so that could require another SOT. Elichia, that was quite significantly positive. Rickettsia, that was positive. Human parvovirus, Mycoplasma pneumoniae, as I, as I was talking about. And then lots of different um, levels of different things. So that was just a few of the infections that they found. And the thing that I struggled to come to terms with is that each of these infections you can have SOT for. And I don't think I'm going to have SOT for every single infusion because that could just take me years. So I will talk about the future steps um, a bit later on. Um, I'm not going to discuss all of these results, obviously, but the one that I do want to talk about is called um, Interferon Gamma. It should be between 500 and 3000 and mine is 93. Um, when they took my blood last June, it was 26, which is absolutely shocking, but now it's gone up a little bit to 93. It's still very, very low, but it is very, very slowly going up. Um, and I recently had a Zoom call with my Poland doctor and he told me that that one is to do with your immune system. I mean, all of this is really, but it's essentially to do with how well the immune system can fight things. And so the fact that mine is very, very low he told me he actually said these words and i find it really sad actually but he told me that my immune system is just very very tired um there's so much there's so many infections in it and it's just really really tired and it's not fighting them very well so we're trying to give it a boost and we're trying to give it the strength to fight some of these infections and start doing what it's supposed to be doing um but yeah that's kind of where i'm at at the moment lots of infections in my body um he told me that some of them are acute, which means like a sudden a sudden and rapid onset, and some are chronic, which is obviously like, you know, long term, not going away kind of thing. One of the things that's chronic is the Lyme disease, chronic persistent Lyme disease. Um, the mycoplasma is acute. Uh, oh, something else which I didn't mention. Urea plasma is chronic. Um, yeah. Lots of lovely, lovely stuff. And he's got autoimmune encephalitis on there as well. As I said, I'm being very, very open because not just for everyone else, but for me to watch in the future. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that, you know, I haven't really seen... It's difficult to find people that talk about this kind of thing um, because it's very sort of particular, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave some links to Lyme disease below and... Um, a few other infections, the main ones anyway. <gasps> um, and I'm also going to leave a couple links how you can protect yourself against being bitten by ticks because uh, I am living proof that it can lead to 
absolute hell. <laughs> it's not very straightforward if it was if it was just the pans or just the encephalitis then I would be having IVIG right now instead of SOT first. Um, but that brings me on to the next the next topic that I wanted to talk about which is next steps. So the next steps aren't a hundred percent clear but I'm going to tell you what I know. Um, so I have a couple new antibiotics arriving very very soon and so I'm waiting for those arriving because I've been on antibiotics very consistently since last summer. I don't know if I've recently been posting videos where it's like um, take my meds with me because I take so many. I'm, over, I'm on over 12, 20 pills a day at the moment and I find it it feels like a big chore and I struggle to find the motivation to do it but I find that when I video it and I have music on it helps me quite a lot to actually just just get it over and done with. So I'm still on lots of medication at home. Some work well to target certain infections like one of them is good for the mycoplasma um, for example. Um, so yeah I'm on lots of treatment at home. I've got more stuff coming to help with the Lyme disease two new antibiotics uh, we're really hoping to see a big difference because I think I've been on one of the antibiotics for too long now and it's not having the same effects that it was in the beginning um, because you do obviously build that resistance to it. As you guys will know my legs have been really bad for nine almost ten months now um, just persistently with no improvement. Yep 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 um, and unfortunately nothing has helped them yet, but we don't know which infection is causing the issue with my legs. We don't know what it is. Because um, obviously there's a lot in my body, we don't know what causes what. It's it's difficult. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe a change in antibiotics plus being on two, or it might even be three at the same time, maybe, maybe it'll get them working again. Beans! <whistles> so yeah, we're still waiting for my legs to have some improvement. Um, as for my next infusion, this is the question that I get a lot, when am I next going to Poland? Um, I'm potentially going to Poland for another SOT in two slash three months. Um, you can have SOT three months apart. Yeah, man! Um, so I could be there in just another couple months. Um, but we haven't gone down to details yet, like he hasn't told me which infection this next bar, this next SOT would be for, sorry. So I don't know any details yet. It's not even certain, he's actually put a question mark next to it on my notes because we're essentially just seeing how everything goes. Um, because there's so many infections it makes it quite complex and complicated to treat. Um, so we're kind of just seeing how everything goes, we're seeing how the antibiotic goes. Um, and then uh, after that SOT he's got in my notes with another question mark so don't take this as something for definite because it's not yet but I'm crossing my fingers that it will happen. Um, IVIG in the summer. Um, now I thought that I couldn't have IVIG until all the infections are cleared but because there's about eight infections in my in my body um, he was basically saying that if we waited to treat all that we could be like five years down the line and like I, I can't we can't wait that long we're gonna basically what the way that he worded it was we're gonna build up my immune system give it some strength to start fighting and doing what it's supposed to be doing and then we'll go in with IVIG but obviously it, I might have a couple more SOTs first but yeah sorry nothing is for definite yet we're very much just taking it day by day week by week at the moment and seeing how everything goes <laughs> but yeah I hope that's answered the questions that I've been getting a lot recently if it hasn't then please do comment it and I will try and uh, answer the questions that you have as well if you want to learn about a bit more about SOT and what it actually does I will leave a link in the description as well but basically I'll give a very short rundown but basically what it does is it um, stops the bacteria from replicating so it's essentially trying to put a block on it and stop it from multiplying in the blood um, and essentially try and stop it in its, in its tracks um, yeah it's quite clever really um, as for how I'm doing right now I am okay my legs have been affecting my mental health more than I've said um, because they feel horrible every time I stand up every time I fit, take a few steps they feel horrible the sensation in them is awful they feel like crap um, it makes me look weird when I'm walking I'm very self-conscious of how I walk because it does not look good 
um it's been a long time and I just want to have normal legs again it's I can't do gymnastics like I usually can so yeah my legs have been bringing me down quite a lot and I'm really really sick of them but um they're obviously not ready to improve yet so <laughs> I'm okay um seizures are very up and down um I had a urine infection a few weeks ago and ended up in hospital because it made my seizures go absolutely nuts and that was a really really horrible night um but I've been doing better since then yeah just like I said taking it day by day because every single day every single hour is different so yeah, I hope I hope that covers everything Woo! peas 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 on toast <whistles> meow I feel like there's probably more that I was gonna say but I think I've covered quite a lot in this video that I can save for now I do have a couple of video ideas planned um meow as you all know I'm not very good with YouTube I struggle to say to stay persistent because the longer length videos obviously require more time <gasps> more um me being able to film and sit here and be okay and chatty um more editing etc but um I do like I do like YouTube as a platform. I like it a lot. And it's very much like an online diary doing this kind of thing. But um yeah, thank you for thank you for all of the love and the support um regarding my treatment and everything that's been going on. And obviously thank you for the donations to my GoFundMe that has been helping massively with going to Poland and back. Um I haven't been uh promoting it as much recently just because it's obviously going to be another couple months till the infusion um, and when I start IVIG that is the really really expensive one so I will start promoting it more then but for now um, thank you to everyone that has donated even just a little bit of money because obviously it all adds up and it all makes a big difference and my local community as well have been absolutely fantastic so if I've missed anything out or I haven't explained anything, like I said, there'll be links to explanations in the description. So um, if you would like to watch another video, I will pop one here. And if you would like to see one of my playlists, I will put a playlist here. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye.